and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at how to close both the application of Excel and the current Excel document that you have open. We'll achieve this by using the Alt F4 keyboard shortcut. So with that, let's get started. I'm gonna open up the Excel file that I have running by pressing Windows 3 because Excel is the third application on my quick launch toolbar. It would bring up this individual menu. When we have the Excel document open, in our last video, we looked at using Control F4. Control F4 would close the Excel document, but not the application of Excel. So what if we wanna close both the document and the application? Now, of course, we could use the X button here, which we'll discuss later in the video, but the keyboard shortcut that I find most useful to do this is Alt F4. Pressing the Alt key and the F4 function key will exit out of both of the document and the actual application. So the way that you can tell an application is active on your program or on your computer is you'll see there's a little white translucent box. So here's a white translucent box, here's a white translucent box, here's a white translucent box. If we press Control F4, you'll notice that there's still a little box around Excel. Even when we're not using that application, there's that little white box. Now, if we wanna close this application, we're gonna create a new document with Control N. If we wanna close this, we press Alt F4, and that little white box around the icon, around the little picture of Excel on our quick launch toolbar is gone. So again, the fastest way to close an application is to press Alt F4. If you only have a single window, such as this case, Alt F4 will close that. If you had multiple windows, such as this example, we now have two workbooks. Alt F4 will close that first window, and then we will need when we get to the last window, we press Alt F4 and we close both the application and the Excel window. So if we wanted to achieve the same result without using the keyboard shortcut Alt F4, there are a couple ways to do this. <laughs> the best way that I know of is to come up here and click this little button here. This little X system button would close out of both the individual Excel window and the application. If we open up Excel again, a third method to close it would be to right click and then come here to close. In this video, we looked at three ways to close both the application of Excel and your final window. The first way was using Alt F4. Alt F4 would exit out of both Excel and the window that you are using. We then looked at the keyboard method or rather the mouse-based method of coming here and clicking this system button, this X system button with our cursor. And then lastly, we looked at if we have an Excel file open. When we have an Excel file open, we can scroll to the top of that file. And in the center, if we right click, we can then come to this button here or this menu and then select close. So with that, we have now covered 11 keyboard shortcuts that can be used with your Excel file menu. We looked at Control N for creating a new window, Control O for opening an existing document, Control S for saving an existing file, F12 for saving as or saving a new file name or file path or file type, Control P for print, Control F2 for the print preview function, the Windows down arrow, Windows down arrow, for minimizing, Windows down arrow for restoring down, Windows up arrow for maximizing, Control F4 for closing the document but not the application of Excel, and then Alt F4 for closing the actual application as well as the Excel window. In our next section, we'll look at keyboard shortcuts for more efficiently using the, the Windows ribbon. So check out our next video in which we'll discuss the summary of what we'll cover in section two. So. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.